question here is to find the current through the 0 0.4, 0 0.5 um, ohm resistor. Okay, so this current going, the current going through here. So that's essentially I2. So the question here is to find I2. Now we have two loops here. Currents are already assigned, so we don't need to reassign them again. So we can go ahead and just apply um, KVL. So we have loop 1 here and loop 2. We can put our signs here plus minus here for the first loop. If we apply KVL, so we have um, sum of voltage rises and drops equals zero. So we have here, of the current is going this direction here. Let me put it in. We already see it here, but still, it's this way over here, clockwise. Okay, this case is this way as well. Okay, so loop number one, we have current coming in, minus two plus is a voltage rise, so it's positive, so we have 20. From plus to minus is a drop, so we have minus 0.25 I1, that's the current going through that one right there, so it's I1. Now we have plus 24. Now I1 is not the only thing going through this resistor here. It's shared um, with two loops here. So we have I1 coming here and then I2 going from here. Okay, so we have going down a drop, voltage drop going through the resistor. So plus to minus, so that's a minus I1. And then we have I2 minus to plus, it's plus I2. Okay, now we can continue with our loop. Plus minus is a drop, so minus 19 equal to zero. Okay, so second loop. Second loop, we have, we can reassign the assigns here. So plus minus, you can do it any way you want. Uh, we still would end up with different results. I mean, with the same results, uh, just with uh, different signs. That's what I wanted to say, just with different signs. But um, the result would be the same. So um, we have going from plus to minus here, plus minus. I just like to use plus to minus for to follow the uh, the current flow. Okay, so loop number two, starting from the voltage source. You can also start anywhere you want. I just like to start from the source. So from minus to plus, it's a it's a rise, so that's 19. From plus to minus, so we have plus 0.4 here. Okay, so now I2 is going from plus to minus for the second loop. So it's a drop. So we have minus I2, but then I1 is from minus to plus, so it's a rise. So we have plus I1. Okay, so following our loop, so we have here plus to minus, so that's minus 0.5 I2. Okay, so nothing else, so equals to zero. So from here on, we have two equations with two unknown. It's just basic math. All right, so let's work through it. So we have I1s and I1s. So we have minus 0.65 I1. I2, we have plus 0.4 I2. And 20 minus 19 is 1, going to the other side, which would be minus 1. Over here we have um, minus, uh, I mean, we have plus 0.4 I1, 0.4 I1, 
I don't know if it's going to be plus or minus. Uh, so minus 0.5 in here we have, so we have 0.9. So it's minus after all. 0.9 I2. Right? Yes. 0.9 I2 is equal to minus 19. Okay? So we have here, um, So we can multiply here by 0 0.9 and at the bottom by, um, we can just solve for, um, I guess, try to cancel I1s. So we can multiply here by 0.4. This is just basic math anyway. You can do it anywhere you want, any way you want. So 0.4 here and at the bottom minus 0.65 and we can, uh, Uh, we can just add them up. So um, we have 0.4 times. Uh, this is going to take longer than I anticipated. I didn't want to solve all the problem because I was thinking that maybe we would be having 0.1 or 0.2s or whatever. Makes it easier. But anyway, it doesn't matter. I'll solve it anyway. So 0.4 times 0 0.65. 0 0.4 times 65, I have 0.26, so I have minus, let me use white, minus 0.26 I1 um, I guess we, oh, yeah, I forgot that's minus sign here Uh, it doesn't matter. I can subtract, subtract before instead of adding. Same thing. Okay, so minus point twenty six I one point four times point four times sixteen. I hope I'm not making any mistakes here. So plus um point sixteen I two is equal to minus point four. I1. So at the bottom I have still uh, minus 0 0.26 I1. 65 times 9 times 0.9 rather. 58.5. Whoa, this is some odd numbers. It's plus 0.58. Five I2. It's equal to 65 times 19.65 times 19. 12.35 minus minus, so 12 point... Why do I have I1 here? What is it doing there? It's definitely not that. Let me erase it, sorry. Okay, this is not... I don't know where it, that came from. I meant to write... I don't know where it came from. Sorry. Okay, got it. All right. There you go. Yeah, because I multiplied these two minus 0.4. Okay, going back now, solving this. So, I can subtract here these two. So, these two will go wherever. That to zero, so now I have 16 minus 0. 0.16 minus 0. 0.585. That's 0. 0.425. So now I have. This is great because I don't need to find I1. So minus 0. 0.4. I'm hoping I'm not making any mistakes here. This is very basic math and it's taking me longer than I wanted. Um, I just wanted to show you how to do KVLs, I guess, but yeah. We can still find I2 and, and compare. So 0.425 I2 
I'm sub I'm subtracting, right? Hopefully I did that. Yes. So minus point four minus twelve thirty five minus minus 1275 so this is equal to minus so we know our current will be positive so I2 would be that divided by 0 0.425 30 finally okay so I2 is 30 we don't need to go back and find I1 until unless it was if it was asked I guess but it's not in this case so I2 the current going through 0.5 final answer is I2 is 30 amp and you can peer check me because I'm not sure if I did it right as far as the calculations are concerned but the methodology is right KVL loop 1 loop 2 alright thanks